Let's hear what Alexa has to say about water animals. Hey Alexa, what's wrong with eating fish? Playing music by the artist Fish. Alexa, stop. I said, what's wrong with eating fish? Oh, okay. Let's get deep. Was that a joke? Maybe. Okay, seriously, what does the philosophy of animal rights have to say about eating fish? Like other animals, fishes are individuals. Did you just say fishes? Yes, I said fishes. Water animals are often talked about in terms of weight. This is misleading as they are all unique individuals. Fishes is attempting to highlight this. Don't you have access to all the grammar rules on the internet? Why would you say something that's not grammatically correct? Technically, fishes can be used to describe multiple species at once. Besides, would you rather be grammatically correct or morally correct? Okay, fine. I'll say fishes. So what's wrong with fishing? Hunting fishes violates their basic moral rights. What? Water animals don't have rights. Sure they do. They have interests just like all animals, which is protected by their rights. They just live in a foreign world we rarely visit, look quite different to us and speak different languages, so they tend to be less understood. In fact, they have complex social lives and want to live. No, they don't. How do you know this? Why do you think it takes so long to pull them out of the water? Because they're fighting for their life that they experience and value. How do you know water animals experience life? Take the Japanese puffer fish for instance. They spend seven to nine days making ornate circles on the seafloor to attract mates. Males laboriously flap their fins as they swim along the seafloor, resulting in disrupted sediment and amazing circular patterns. Although these water animals are only 12 centimeters long, the formations they make measure about 2 meters in diameter. Do you know any human animals that works that hard to attract a mate's attention? Why not error on the side of caution when we're talking about taking the life of another when it's completely unnecessary? Okay, maybe they do have interests and experience life, but they die so quick once they're on the fishing boat. They often struggle for several minutes once they're pulled out of the water onto the floating slaughterhouse. Plus, their right to live the rest of their life is violated. Water animals, hunting fishes, floating slaughterhouses, what are you talking about? It's non-speciesist language. I don't want to help perpetuate the ideology of speciesism that one species is worth more than another. So why would I use different terminology to downplay the violation of water animals' basic moral rights? But you can't even hear them. Just because we can't hear them, doesn't mean they're not afraid to die. I mean, if I were to hold your head under water, what would you do? I'm guessing you'd probably make erratic movements and we might not be able to hear you either. What's the difference? Okay, fine, but I just don't care about water animals. It's not about caring. It's about respect for them and their rights. Besides, did you know that up to 20 times the weight of who's being hunted is killed accidentally? This includes water animals such as whales, sharks, dolphins, and sea turtles. Do you respect them? Yeah, I suppose I do, but we need to eat water animals for the nutrients such as protein and omega fatty acids. If that was true, why would the UK and US Dietitians Association say that there is no biological requirement to use our animal cousins at any stage of life? There's plenty of protein in plants. Water animals get their omega fatty acids from algae, so why not go straight to the source? We can also eat things like pumpkin seeds, hemp seeds and walnuts to get omega fatty acids. Besides, why do you think women are told not to eat water animals when they're pregnant? because the mercury has been linked to developmental delays and brain damage. Why would anyone want to put this in their body if we don't have to? But they just taste so good. Have you ever had tofu flavored with seaweed to make a vegan fish and chips? Or smoked carrots to have vegan salmon? Wouldn't eating our animal cousins when there's alternatives be a bit selfish? I haven't. I suppose I could give those a try. But I don't use plastic straws. Isn't that enough? Oh, don't get me started. Why is it that people will stop using plastic straws to save fishes, but they won't stop eating fishes to save the fishes? Okay, you've given me a lot to think about here. Thanks. Good. 
I think when people are open-minded they'll see that while water animals are different to us, they still have moral value and that their rights should be respected through veganism. Is there anything you'd like me to ask Alexa about in a future video? I think it'd be pretty interesting to hear what she has to say about horses who are used to be ridden. Let us know in the comments. Yeah, come on. Show me what you've got. Respect our animal cousins and their rights. Choose vegan. Thanks for watching and for free support for new vegans and free resources such as a discussion guide and language document, check out veganinteractions.com.